एंड वेलकम बैक विद दी अंदर वीडियो ऑन रियक नेटिव मोबाइल ऐप डेवलपमेंट सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ वी कैन इम्प्लीमेंट डेट पिकर और टाइम पिकर इन अवर मोबाइल एप्लीकेशन सो इन दिस आई एम यूजिंग दिस लाइब्रेरी फॉर रियक नेटिव डेट पिकर सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट इट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल Uh, first of all you have to install this library so let's just go to the github page so here as you can see we have this command yarn add now copy it and paste inside your terminal okay so after that uh, there is no uh, furthermore uh, no need for other uh, things to do you can just run your app now so let's just let me just run my app so uh, our application is successfully built now so let's just go into the my shop section so when we click on open time we have to open our uh, dialog so what you need over here like uh, come to your yeah come to your uh, this uh, return section and inside this you have to say date picker like this so uh, a date picker uh, take some props so uh, let's check it on the like this model open on confirm and like this let's just copy all this from here paste it over here okay like this so this open thing will be come from uh, the use state so let's just say open uh date picker and it will be set open date picker like this and uh, pass over here date picker and in date uh, you have to pass this new uh, new date uh, new date yes new date like this so on confirm you will uh, get your uh, uh, data you know like date on confirm so on confirm you have to say set open false on cancel you have to say set open date picker false so let's see what we got when we uh, get the uh, date so to open the date picker you have to in this you have to say uh, set open date picker true now let's just save it Uh, let's see. so let's come in our app so as you can see our uh, date is uh, showing on and also time also showing on but uh, in here we need only the time so if you need only the time you have to pass one more prop called mode and in this you have to pass time like this now save it and uh, click it so as you can see you are getting the time so after that you have to uh, like if uh, user click the confirm button so let me as you can see over here that we are getting the date and the time also okay 
so here we need a here we need one more thing like uh, a function which will format our uh, uh, time that we pick uh, okay so to do that you have to say let's create create a function so here we need guys is a format time uh, we need to format our time as you can see like it is showing in this way we don't have to show like this way okay so to show it in a proper way we have to uh, do a uh, format our time so let's just uh, config let's just say So what, uh, whatever will be our uh, functions related to the date picker or time picker, we will make our function over here. So I already got one function which will take a time string and it will convert your time into like this. Uh, the uh, It will convert your time into 12 hour time, formatted time. Let me show how let's say yeah on this side let's say format time format time and in this we have to pass uh, like this date dot get uh, date dot get hour and then we have to say like this this and this date dot get minutes okay yeah so we have to do it like that because uh, our uh, this function will take a string uh, it will take a string and uh, it will uh, convert our 24 hour time into 12 hour of time let me uh, console.log that what we are getting uh, let's say console.log this thing okay um, oops console.log this whole thing like this like this yeah so let's see this open my terminal say confirm as you can see this thing you see this thing so this is giving you the uh, time in 20 in 12 hour format uh, so if i select like uh, this so it will give you so it will give you the time in 12 hour format so that's why we created this function so after that let's just do one more thing we create a two two state so one for open time and one one for close time you can also say shop shop open time and shop close time okay now set set shop open time and set shop close okay cool now what we have to do that uh, we have to define uh, one more state that uh, what time is uh, uh, what like uh, uh, do a user click on open time or close time because we have to get it and display on the user side so let's say current current time option like this yeah 
uh, or you can say yeah you can say it like this and set current time option so uh, what will happen that uh, when a user click on open time we have to do two things like we have to say this set open date picker true and also set current time open is equals to like open okay so why we are doing that and uh, let's also copy this thing over here and say it close so why we are doing that let me show you that uh, when we do we have to check this thing over here like after confirming whether a user click on open time or a close time so if like open uh, current time open equals to open okay and second condition will be close so you can say else if close then we have to say set shop set shop open time and if it is close then you have to say set shop close time like this okay <clears throat> okay so after getting the uh, after setting the open time and close time you have to set the label also so we have to do that if we have to do like that shop open time equal to undefined then do it like this else do it like that's it guys so let's check uh, what we got over here so if I select open time and I select any time and say confirm then you can see our time will be show over here and if I say this open close time and I select any time it will show over here cool and one more thing that we are all going to do is to provide a tick so to do that you have to say over here and to provide shop open time and to over here provide shop close time now save it now you can see we already provide both of the time so we get the tick on the both side so this is it guys for this video i hope you like it so in the next video we are going to submit our form because our whole form whole form data is uh, uh, completed getting the data is completed so we in our next video we are going to implement an api which will pass all the data so it will be a um, post api with the form data which will uh, pass the data in form data so see you guys in the next video i hope you like this video and uh, if you like it then like the video and subscribe to my channel for more uh, for more videos in this series so see you guys in the next video till then take care